<laughs> he wasn't looking, so I just freed him. What? No, I'm your coach, Key. And a few days ago, I coached a plat who needed desperate help with their movement. Just uh -huh. sw swing, shot, two bursts into a strafe into a two burst. Okay, so don't play like it's calm. Play like it's actually deathmatch and like it doesn't matter if I die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, this was embarrassing, educational, and downright hilarious at times. So enjoy. And stick around to the end to see the session notes that will get them to diamond. Talk to me a little about your mechanics. You're practicing dead zoning right now. What else are you working on? Dead zoning and like jump peeking, but I think I got jump peeking down. Hell yeah. I, know, I just read that immortal guide and whatever I don't know how to do, I just practice it in the range for oh, 30 dude. minutes. I love that. Well, you're definitely doing a good job here. You have a patient shot, which is really important um, for players. I say as you as you spray. I ignore <laughs> that. <laughs> he wasn't looking, so I just sprayed him. What? No, even more reason to take your time. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah, literally, literally, yeah, he's not looking at me, so just put <laughs> it on his head and shoot. Exactly. Nice. Good movement there. Very nice movement. Uh, when's the last time you checked the guide? Because it actually got updated pretty recently, and there's something in there I wanted to talk about. My big thing for you is I want you to be comfortable doing this. That is my big thing. Right now you're practicing dead zoning, which is really good. I want us to practice moving a bit more when we do our range practice. I think your aim is at a pretty good point and it's mainly matching uh, matching this with the movement. Um, so my big thing for you is aiming with movement. Have you practiced this yet? Honestly, I do, but like I'm so bad at it. I get frustrated <laughs> and I'm like, dude, <laughs> then I just start doing something else. Here, so I have I something can, new I, I, I want to show you. So literally not even an hour ago, I just published this warm up, and I want you to try it out. Um, the main reason is you mentioned that one's really difficult and this one actually simplifies. It's, it's designed for higher ranks, but it's really just movement focused. So let me show you a few of the drills. This one's just stationary bots and you're just moving back and forth, trying to keep it on the target. The next one, the dead zone on the wall, you're already used to this. And then the one after that, kind of similar to the one you were doing with the Guardian, but a bit easier. It's kind of like an easier version of this one up here, this one right here. That's a bit okay, easier yeah. to follow. Cause I know okay, because yeah, I tried doing that one too and I'm like, bro, I, I can't, I move too far past them. So my crosshairs <laughs> always past their head and stuff. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up uttering because I'm with you that this one's just too too freaking hard. This one's a bit different. And now we're practicing the same thing. So that's literally it for the range. And I think there's one more, but it's just something else with the drones. So there's a free warm-up guide that comes with this. Um, I would try this. Your your aim is a pretty dang good right now. Um I can tell you've been practicing it. I would keep practicing it. Your main thing is your movement. Like I'm seeing a, a bit okay, let me go back and grab your let me go back to your body. Yeah. So like in this fight, I noticed a lot of like yeah. stationary moments, right? Remember the goal is to be moving, shoot and keep moving. Like look like you're running basically, right? Yeah, exactly. So we got to push ourselves with this a little. And this, that, that one was really good for that. Okay. Yeah. Literally what you're saying is what I'm like, dude, like I know I do it and I'm just like, I just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with this. Like, I want to see you like intentionally. Basically, the goal here is just to intentionally practice your movement in any fight, even if it's kind of stupid. So like, you're holding this angle against Serena. When she comes out, like just do a side strafe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're with. Okay. Just do it. Okay. Movement, anyways. Especially here, you're kind of playing sneaky. <laughs> like, I just want to see you. you know, like, you're walking around okay. this corner. Just uh -huh. sw swing, shot, two burst into a strafe into a two burst. Okay, so don't play like it's calm. Play like it's actually deathmatch and like it doesn't matter if I die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let me get you your notes here. The main takeaways I want you to have are intentionally practice movement in deathmatches. This is really important. Deathmatches aren't really good for practicing anything else, any, anything in general. You always want to practice something specific. So intentionally practice. Mm -hmm. Movement death matches. Remember your goal is is to do fast side to sides and two burst. So as much as you can, do a side by side and a two burst. And then also like so I also have trouble hitting them when they're also racing like me. Like I just like I shoot behind them a lot. Yes. Um let me see if I can find an example of this because I know what you're talking about. 
Yep, good example. So that, that right? Like opponents are strafing yeah. and you gotta be like, what? Literally, and I'm just like, both slow. Yeah, 100%. So this is literally what this is practicing. Oh, really? I okay. literally okay. say almost what you just said word for word right here. Um, You basically see a target, you have your crosshair placed on them or near them, and then they suddenly move to the side and you have to readjust. So this is really good for that sort of training. Okay, and perfect. Yes, literally. Literally this. <laughs> guys, guys, go to the side, your cross is near him. You just have to give yourself time for that movement. So the main reason you're not getting these kills, because you're just like, Fuck it, I'm doing the movement and then I'm shooting. You have to be really not, I don't want to say like patient or disciplined. You just have to use the movement um, as, as a, like a tool to practice. So you're trying okay. to get comfortable with it. You don't have to do it quickly. You're just trying to get comfortable with it. That's the most important thing here is we're just learning. Take our time to learn, right? Yes. 100%. Awesome. So. I'll, I'll I'll throw this in here because this is kind of what we're talking about. Focus on your approach to fight rather than the results of the fights. So okay, all I want you to do, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, that's that's how I, I always read that. Like, don't focus on like like whenever you're trying to practice keeping your aim on their head. Don't worry if they kill you, but it's just like I die and I'm like, bro, <laughs> and then I just start <laughs> playing normally again. Yes, exactly. It's it's really it's a really important takeaway for today because a lot of times we start practicing the right thing but then we get like the wrong outcome and we're like wow this thing actually sucks i should have never done this but this is a hundred percent it uh -huh, and then you, okay so it's just focus on the end goal huh not the each individual match itself yes. and this is exactly what i do when i watch your gameplay i don't care if you die right i, I saw you die a bunch of times in this dm and i'm not and like oh this sucked because he died I, I don't even like think of the result of the fight i just think of like how did he approach this fight What's happening with his movement? What's happening with his cross replacement aim? All that stuff. Yeah, like what what you told me is like like it really helped me because I didn't know for sure if it was like my movement or just my aim being bad. So then, but I was just saying like, oh, my movement needs to get better. You know, like trying to cope. But yeah. I guess it really is my movement. Yeah, and now now you know for sure. Now you know exactly what to work on. And that's that's what I'm here to do. That's what we're here to accomplish through this coaching. Now you know exactly what to do. This is your structure. All right, let me get you these notes, and then yeah, message me more questions. Um. Also, we can do another checkup in like a week or two. Um, I mean, we can do a VOD review too. That stuff's always available. So yeah, just let me know. All right, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me. You let me know. You let me know if anything changes, okay? All right, have a good one. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh,